Welcome to a preview of the Sales and Marketing Academy platform and community. We have 10 amazing instructors all placed in one amazing community to help you with your skill development and help you reach the goals that you are trying to get to. And we have an amazing and talented consultant here with us today. Andy Collagen joins us now to tell us more about his consultative sales course. And Andy, what a pleasure to see you. Hey, Mark, it's uh, great to be with you. And thank you so much for the invitation to come and share. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm so excited about the Sales and Marketing Academy. Um, and when Bonnie Malden, the creator, um, first asked me to be a part of it, you know, she didn't tell me about the rock star team that was coming on board. But wow, it is an amazing collection of professionals. I, I couldn't agree more. I, I was just so excited to have the opportunity to be invited. And uh, Frankly, to, to be working with you and uh, and Lori Manns and Bob Rathbun and what a tremendous team we have here at the Sales and Marketing Academy. So uh, I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's an all-star group. Now let's talk a little bit about your your your, your professional history and um, and your course. Um, Fort Leadership and Sales Consulting. You're the founder and president of the company. Um, tell me a little bit about Fort. Where does the where does the Fort leadership come from? Yeah, so that's a great question. You know, the short answer is it's a family name. Um, and the kind of the, the story behind the, the family name is uh, my grandfather, my father's father. So my paternal grandfather uh, at the age of 14 had to leave um, the Crimean Peninsula in uh, 1917 because the Bolshevik revolution was going on there. And he was friends with Tsar Nicholas's uh, children. And anybody associated with the czar was going to be put to death uh, during the Bolshevik Revolution. So he had to escape. And his mother uh, selected him and two of his sisters to go underground um, to New York and eventually made it over to Detroit, uh, Michigan, where my grandfather later developed a, a company on Fort Street in Detroit called Fort Tool and Die Casting Company. And uh, they made uh, wheel weights and parts for Ford and GM and Chrysler. And then during World War II, um, FDR's uh, administration came knocking on my grandfather's door and asked if they would make um, uh, casings for hand grenades and parts for Jeeps. So anyway, long story made short, uh, it's a family name and, and came over from Fort Street in Detroit. Awesome, awesome. Well, let me follow up to that question because your tagline is transformational thought in action. Tell me a little bit more about what that means. Help us unpack that. Yeah, sure. Um, transformational thought in action is something that I learned many, many years ago in my early medical sales career when I was a consultative salesperson. And um, a friend of mine sat down with me and helped to kind of build a model for what success looks like, right? We're all trying to achieve success. Uh, it could be personal success, professional success, financial success, perhaps success in our, in our, uh, in our health, maybe mental health as well. And um, the idea is this, is that transformational thought in action is, is kind of goes back to the idea of when you sow and you reap. So if you sow a thought, you reap an action. And then over time, when you sow that, uh, that action in your life, you develop a habit. And Stephen Covey's talked a lot about habits, uh, the seven habits of highly effective people. Sure. When you sow that habit in your life over time, you will develop a character. And then when you sow your character over time, you will reap a destiny. So the idea being transformational thought in action is that a lot of people try to do behavioral modification to try to achieve the results, you know, 30, 60, 90 days, and then they kind of fall off the wagon. Transformational thought in action is to suggest to, to the learner that, in fact, you can change your life and create the life that you so desire. But you got to go all the way back to what are you thinking about when you're thinking about the things you're thinking about. So transformational thought in action is my tagline that I've been able to apply to my life. And I know it works. <laughs> you know, I know it works, Mark, because right. it's worked for me. And my objective is to share it with as many people as I can. 
Absolutely. Yeah. My business coach, Sonny Leonard Doozy says that, you know, people don't pay for information, they pay for transformation. And if you can get those thoughts working for you, that's transformational thought and action. I love the way you put that. So yeah, that is absolutely amazing um, and, and a great way to live your life and, and run your business. But um, let's get right to the course now, consultative selling. Um, you teach folks that in order to be successful at selling, you have to shift your paradigm for selling. What, what, what do you mean by that? Yeah, so, so, you know, when I first got into sales and I was a kid, you know, I was really kind of selling my service to, to, the, to, the, to the highest bidder, you know, washing dishes in a restaurant or bussing tables or putting up cyclone fences. And um, I really didn't care for sales because I thought that I was trying to extract money from people. I was trying to get them to go my way. And, uh, you know, kind of sales is, is different than that. It's not about what you can extract from people, but it's what you can do, the solution you can offer people. And so, you know, a paradigm, if I can back up just for a second, a paradigm is kind of your view of the world, right? And, and if your view of sales is, I don't know. I just really, it's difficult to pick up the phone or it's difficult to talk to people about my, about my product or my service, because I just feel like I'm taking up their time. I'm barging in on them. And I really don't like to ask for the order or ask for money. The paradigm shift is to su suggest that what you need to do is, is frame it. The perception is, is that it's not what I'm trying to extract from my customer. It's the solution to the problem that they have that I'm trying to offer my customer. So that paradigm shift is critical um, to a sales career. I can't tell you the number of salespeople that I've seen that have stumbled and actually crashed and burned their sales career right here at the very front end because they feel like they're trying to take something. And you know, for most people, that just doesn't feel natural. We, we are giving people and, and giving beings. And you know, if you, if you put the paradigm in place that you're giving to somebody, it makes it so much easier to become successful in consultative selling. Makes total sense. Um, let's talk a little bit more about the curriculum at the Sales and Marketing Academy. Um, during in the curriculum, rather, you told a story about your first medical sales job interview that you had at the Perimeter Marriott. Uh, most of us that live here right in Atlanta know <laughs> exactly where that is. Um, can you tell us that story again? Because it's, it's, it's a great story. Sure, thanks. I, I, uh, I, I have this story, and I talk about paradigm shift in consultative selling, too. That's actually the opening remarks I make, because I think that on the front end, that's important. But on, the, on my interview um, at the Marriott, I was interviewing with a medical company out of Knoxville, Tennessee, and, and the vice president of sales came down to the Atlanta Marriott uh, to meet me for lunch and to kind of give either the nod uh, to go ahead or, you know, to cast me aside, my, which became my manager, put me up in front of this vice president of sales. And as we were having lunch, the vice president of sales said to me, he goes, Andy, um, how much money would you like to make? And I kind of sat back for a minute and then I leaned in and I said, Steve, if I told you that I wanted to make $100,000 a year, <laughs> now, mind you, I was probably making about $10,000 a year at the time, um, but I wanted to get into medical sales and I wanted to make sure that I captured this opportunity. I said, if, you know, if I told you $100,000, Steve, you might ask me, well, why not $115,000? And if I said $115,000, you might ask me, why not $130,000? So rather than let me give you a number, Steve, let me tell you the lifestyle I would like to live. And I then ahead draw up a lifestyle and I said, I envision my life living in a big home on a big parcel of land. And that big home with that big parcel of land will have a split rail fence all around me. And on that land will be my, will be my horses. And there'll be a tall American flagpole out in front of that yard. The house will be situated on the ocean. And on the ocean will be a pier with my yacht. And the captain of my yacht will be on that, will be on that boat. And, and I will get on that yacht and we'll cruise around the Caribbean. And when I want to get off on an island, I will take my Ferrari off that yacht and go cruise the island in that Ferrari. I will eat all the lobster I can eat, I will drink all the rum I can drink, and I will date as many women as I can date. Now, 
<laughs> funny story. And, and that's the dream of a 24 year old kid, yeah. right? right? But I'll tell you, this is what Steve said to me. He said, Andy, you're hired, <laughs> right? Now, why would he do that, right? The reason he would do that is he wanted to hire a guy with a big dream, right? Because if all I was interested is in a six pack of beer and a little Volkswagen Scirocco, and I just dated the story, <laughs> there's no point in hiring me because I would attain that in a month or two and, and then I'd be done. But he knew that he was hiring a guy that had a big dream. And if he hired a guy with a big dream or a gal with a big dream, that that person would work like crazy and hustle to see that dream come true. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, it's the vision. It's working toward the vision. Um, it, it's why we have vision boards. It's why vision boards work. So if you don't have a vision board out there, folks, get one together right now. Andy just told you why they work. Um, I can't help but notice that rhino and that king of hearts over your shoulders. Is, is there a story there? Yeah, there, there is a story there. And uh, yeah, so um, back uh, probably 20 years ago, before we had PDAs or Blackberries or iPhones or any of that now, we had day timers and I had a paper day timer with a leather cover. I was at a conference, a medical conference out in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we had a magician there and he was doing a magic trick and the king of hearts fell at my feet. And I picked up that king of hearts and I put it in my day timer. And then my daughter, who's now in her own sales career, had given me, she was about five years old or some six years old, and she had given me a sticker of the rhino. And I put that sticker in my day timer as well. And so what those two pictures actually serve as, Mark, is a reminder to me um, in sales, what's important in consultative sales, and this is important for everybody that hears this message. When you are in consultative sales, you want to become the king of hearts. Dale Carnegie wrote about it when he wrote How to Win Friends and Influence People. You want to be the king of hearts. You want to be the queen of hearts. Why? Because people don't buy from a juicy rationalization. People buy emotionally. And you have to connect at an emotional level first. Connect with the heart and the head will follow. But if you don't connect with the heart, if they don't feel like they can trust you, if they don't feel like they like you, they won't connect with you right. and you won't make a sale. So you need to practice to be the king or the queen of hearts. Mm -hmm. On the rhino, we all have big dreams. At least I hope you do. And if you don't, you need to come to the Sales and Marketing Academy and enroll in one of our courses with Mark or me or Bob or Lori or Jim or James or Scott. You need to come in one of our courses and you need to develop that big dream. But as you pursue that dream, you're going to hear a lot of negative. The price is too high. Who do you think you are? You don't have the education for that. You weren't born with the right family. The marketplace is saturated. The marketplace is, you're going to hear a bunch of negative. And the reason for the rhino is the rhino, like any packager, has a very thick skin. You need to have that thick skin so those negative comments roll right off your back, right? So in consultative selling, you want to be the king or the queen of hearts. But you need to remember to have a thick skin so that those negative comments you undoubtedly will hear don't penetrate your skin and steal your dream. Never, ever, ever give up your dream. Wow. I might have to go take the course. I love it. <laughs> Andy, that's great stuff, man. What a pleasure getting to know you a little bit better. And um, thanks so much for sharing uh, some intimate details. And wow, what great stories. But consultative selling, it's um, one of the, another one of the many comprehensive courses on our platform and our community. Um, when you join the community, you not only get the course, but you get us as well. Um, we are there to watch you grow, to watch you develop. We want to help you um, get to your goals. We want to help you realize your dreams. And 
and we hope you have big ones um, because that's what these courses are for, to set you on your way towards realizing those big dreams and those big goals. So Andy Collation, thanks so much. To find out more about Andy's course and mine as well, just go to the salesandmarketingacademy.com for more information. Getting ahead in business means that learning never stops. The Sales and Marketing Academy is an exciting new online learning community designed to equip business professionals with valuable skills in sales, business, and marketing. Our training offers proprietary lesson plans taught by true successful entrepreneurs, influencers, and leaders of business. Our platform was designed with intuitive user-friendly navigation and reliable website accessibility. Offering a personalized learning experience, students work with an accountability course coach to assure they stay on track to meet their learning goals and achieve certification. Dedicated to building lasting business relationships, students have opportunities to connect through local networking events and social groups. The Sales and Marketing Academy's training is ideal for those seeking to improve their sales skills, expedite their career goals, explore a new business field, promote their business better, and start a new business. We offer expert courses that meet your schedule, your lifestyle, and your career goals. The Sales and Marketing Academy courses are starting now. What's holding you or your business back? Contact us now at 678-967-0551 or visit us at tsamacademy.com.